Waves and optics? I just made a course on that. You're shuffling it. One space. One space. Pass. Right. Hold on. So, 201X waves and optics will actually start with oscillators. Now, oscillators aren't really waves, but they're a good way to introduce a lot of important mathematical concepts you'll need. For example, I'll show you some of the dirty little secrets behind solving differential equations. I'll show you how you can turn a bunch of sinusoids into pretty much anything. And I'll take you on a mathematical journey to a magical land called the complex plane. We'll study oscillators. We'll look at how they can be damped and coupled and driven into resonance. Uh, play low, please. You know, speaking of resonance, I haven't been dealt a bridge hand this bad since I crossed the Tacoma Narrows. Next, we'll talk about waves on strings. We'll drop the wave equation, normal mode solutions, traveling wave solutions, um, reflection, dispersion. You'll never look at string the same again. We'll then move on to electromagnetic waves, also known as light, and how it interacts with the most interesting and important material in the world. Finally, we'll end with optical scattering, interference, diffraction, and polarization, because those are the basis for everything you see. Are we playing bridge here, or are you talking? 201X will have weekly video lectures that describe the material in detail and have demonstrations. It'll have weekly homework, discussion forum, and two exams. It'll be set up very similar to my previous course, 102X, which is archived on edX if you want to have a look. Finally, 201X is a sophomore level physics class. The math isn't necessarily more difficult, there's just a lot more of it. But if you want to study more advanced topics beyond introductory physics, 201X will be an excellent stepping stone. I hope to see you there. When I was at Rice, my physics professors had normal haircuts.